Degenerative disc disease is a condition that occurs when the discs in the spine break down or deteriorate, causing pain and loss of function. Let's take a look at the spine anatomy. Intervertebral discs are located between the series of bones called vertebrae, which make up the spine. The disc and two facet joints connect the vertebrae, provide stability, and allow movement. The discs are made out of strong connective tissue. The tough outer layer is called the annulus fibrosus. The center of each disc, the nucleus pulposus, is gel-like in its normal state. A healthy disc acts as a cushion between the vertebrae. With age, discs lose water content and become narrower, less flexible, and less effective as shock absorbers. As a disc deteriorates, the outer layer can weaken and tear. Discs heal slowly, during which time new nerve endings can cause pain. Painful bone-on-bone -bone rubbing can occur and lead to changes in the spine structure that cause pain and impair movement. Degenerative disc disease may or may not cause symptoms. Symptoms include pain, burning, pressure, numbness, weakness, or tingling. Depending on the location of the degenerative disc in your spine, the symptoms may spread to your arms or legs. The majority of people are treated with non-surgical methods aimed at pain relief and activity modification. Over-the-counter medication, prescription medication, or steroid injections can help relieve pain. A neck or back brace can provide support. Clinical treatment from physical therapists may ease your symptoms. Performing therapy exercises can help strengthen your neck and back muscles and improve your function and independence with daily activities. Although pain management can help relieve pain and restore function, it cannot correct structural abnormalities in a disc or the spine. A small percentage of people may need surgery. Keep moving. Exercise regularly to keep your back strong, maintain a healthy weight, and follow your doctor's instructions to help keep your spine healthy.